Neil, what to you is the most interesting open question about how the metaverse develops? It's who's going to develop it? Um, is it going to be, um, it's sort of the decentralized, bottom-up, organic growth model versus a centralized, top-down approach. And each has its advantages. Um, and um, uh, in, in my way of thinking, um, just it doesn't happen unless you uh, create uh, an open system that's kind of analogous to the early web or the early internet where uh, anyone who's interested can latch on to a, a shared protocol and begin to, to build what they want to build mm -hmm. in that world. And, you know, a lot of what people build is, is going to go nowhere, but, but some of it is going to be uh, taken up and... Um, and embraced and used by, by large numbers of people. Um, so we have to figure out a way to make sure that when that happens, the people who created it um, don't get screwed and get paid uh, and recognized for the contributions that they've, they've made. Well, so can you give some advice to Chris? Chris is a top-down company, a big, important, valuable company building out this. What should he be doing to match this vision, or is it impossible for a large centralized company like Facebook, to, like Meta, to do that? Uh, I don't know enough about the internals of that company to... Uh, You've got one of the most powerful people right here. <laughs> so uh, I, I'm not sure how much uh, he's uh, empowered or willing to, to divulge in the way of uh, proprietary uh, data about those, those plans, but... Um, Right now, the, the image that one has of Facebook and other big social media companies is very much that of a centralized, you know, top-down-ish kind of organization. Is that, you know, to what extent is that um, kind of coded into the, the DNA of, of what you guys are trying to build? Yeah, I mean, I mean, one thing about the, at least the development of Facebook and Instagram is a lot of it is focused on giving tools to creators and tools to businesses. I mean, the content you see on Instagram is not content that we created. It's content built by tools from people, from businesses. Um, the creative tools that we give them is a lot of what makes the experience unique, along with some set of assurances around safety and privacy, which is where the centrality can offer a big benefit to the user. I think with the metaverse, we're probably going to see spaces that are self-consistent, oftentimes offered by big companies, we're going to see spaces that are built by, you know, startups and shops. Um, I think how those interoperate is the most important conversation for making sure that we don't sort of accidentally um, sort of step on each other's toes.